Hey, great that you could join us for this Soapbox Sparks tutorial. We'll be showing you today something that we were working on last Saturday in our live workshop. So as a group, we started looking at all the things about ourselves and about our friends that we really love and want to celebrate. One of the reasons we're doing that this is because we've realized that, especially during lockdown, how important our friends are, how much they make us feel better, um, and how much being kind to one another really makes a big, big difference in our lives. So today, we're gonna start by thinking about all the things that make a good friend. What I've done here is on a plain piece of paper, I've divided my paper using a normal pencil, divided it in half first, and then I've divided this bit into quarters. I've got three different sections to work in. This is our design page or our sketch page. So it's a way that we can put down our ideas before we start doing the proper drawing at the end. Um, and in this top section here, I've labeled it characteristics. And in this box here, I'm gonna write down all the things that a friend could be or should be to me. One of the ways I'm gonna do that to get my brain cells working is to think of a friend in my life. So someone that I really care about, who I know is a good friend. And I'll think about what their personality is like, what it is that makes them a good friend. So I think they are a good listener. I'm writing that down. So I've got all my characteristics down now. The next thing is to think about how those characteristics might look on a character. So thinking about those words and how I can translate them into something visual. So when you think about the word brave, for example, you might picture someone being really strong and what, what represents someone being really strong maybe that strong bit like the emoji arm for strong it's like a fist like this and then a big muscle can you see that so a muscly arm or they might be a really good listener so i'm going to draw an ear um nice to be around so maybe a really nice friendly smile see how these aren't necessarily attached to a person yet these are like the, the elements of a person that we're getting building here together um, what else clever now it's quite hard to draw someone being clever um, but something that is often used to represent a clever person is if they're wearing glasses sometimes it makes you look look more clever so I'm going to draw a pair of spectacles there, little pair of glasses um, what else? Honest, I feel like. Um, now I'm gonna move away from body parts here and I think I might draw a sort of badge or a shield that a person might wear. And that's got the word honest on it. Now this is helping me because I'm starting to think about not just the physical um, parts of my character's body, but also their costume, because we will want to think about how we design their costume as well. Um, so that's an important one. This one's an interesting one too, stand up for me. And I was thinking about how maybe our character is in a certain pose that shows that they're standing up. So um, I'm just gonna do a little bit of a sketch here, because this is my ideas page, just a little bit of a sketch. If this was my person, I would maybe have them with their hand on their hip and their other hand pointing upwards because they're standing up, that's their head there. So this is just me mapping out my ideas of what it might look like if someone was standing up for me. Um, kindness as well, that might be something about being kind and generous so maybe a hand 
helping hand. Yep. So these are just some ideas of I'm starting to map out what these characteristics might look like on a person. Now this is my my page. I've got enough space here to start to sketch out what this would look like if it was a character. Now what we're drawing today isn't just a normal character. It's the the super best version of a friend that we could hope for. So to do that, we're actually going to make them into a bit of a superhero type character, which is why I mentioned earlier we've got um, things like a costume to go with them as well there. So if we were going to make this person into a superhero, it might be worth thinking about what their superhero name would be. Maybe picking one of the characteristics that you think really is the best or most important thing about that person's personality that makes them a really good friend. I think I'm going to go for good listener. I think that's my best characteristic that my friend has and the thing that really makes them stand out to me. But how could I make that into a superhero name? Hmm, not sure. So maybe I'll break down the words there or think about how um, it relates to the ears, maybe. So um, something like um, hearing hero, haha. <laughs> um, yes, I think I'm gonna go for that. Now when I'm writing their name, I can play around with maybe doing some cool lettering. If you're if you're into bubble writing or doing cool lettering, this is a good time to practice that. So first of all, I'm just going to sketch out the words. So I said a hearing hero, <laughs> uh, which I'm still laughing at. So hearing, I'm just going to sketch out the word really simple. I'm going to go for capital letters. Notice I'm just using the pencil quite lightly rather than pressing hard. So that's so that I can see where the letters might go. And then to make it into bubble writing, I then draw my bubbly sausages over the top. So it's a really good way of practicing my lettering there. Now to sketch out what I think this character is gonna look like. And I think I might return to this pose that I started here I think that's a good place to start and stick men are actually a really good way of sketching out a person's body before you've started to draw their whole all their other features so again going quite lightly I'm going to draw a sort of sausagey shape for the body first then pop the head on the top then just two sticks for the legs now of course if you want them to be doing something else with their legs you could draw the leg being bent so I might just put a little bent knee in there and then I've said I'm going to have one hand on the hip because that's a classic superhero pose. Now, if you wanted them to be holding something or uh, they could have both hands on their hips if you wanted, but I'm going to stick to my plan of having them with their fist out. Now, this is just a really useful guide now when I draw the rest of the superhero. So I'm going to draw in uh, a cape behind them as well. Looking lovely. Now, I said about how you can include some of the characteristics in the way that you draw them. And remember I said that good listener was the most important feature and I've included that in my name of this character. However, I don't really want to just give her massive ears. I think that might look a bit silly. So what I'm going to do instead is draw some shapes around her like this to illustrate or show that she is listening. And I'm going to then include some of the other characteristics in as well. So, um, I think to show that she's listening, what I might do, one of the things she does is she always listens out for when I'm saying, ah, oh, I could really do with some help. So someone's calling for help and she's listening 
does it for a lot of different people, not just me. So I'm drawing it all around her. So those are my ideas for my character. Um, what we're going to do now, wherever you're up to with designing your character, is we're going to think about how we transform this into a really nice card for our friend. Now, it was Valentine's Day recently, but sometimes we don't have a Valentine to send our Valentine's card to, but we might um, have a really good friend that we would just want to let them know that we're thinking of them and would like to send them something. So whether you've got a piece of paper or card, what you need is to fold it in half. That's your basic card shape. And then have your sketch next to you so that you can see what you're going for. And then translate your sketch. And you can make changes if there's things about your original sketch that you think, mm, I'm not sure I'm going to include that in this design. Now is the time to, to refine your sketch into something that's your final artwork. Um, so take the best bits of what you've been playing around with on your design page and translate it into the card. And remember, this is something someone's going to want to receive. So I might, rather than having Hearing Hero at the top, I might put You're My Hearing Hero or something like that so that, that people know that it's a message for them, a message of gratitude and appreciation. So that's what I'm going to do now. So there we have it, this is my finished design. What will yours look like? I've used a mixture of coloured pencils and pens. I used a bright highlighter to make my text really look glowy at the top here and I added the same glowing to her shield. You can see that I did change some of the things from my design um, to try and improve it and make it better. I felt like it was better to keep it simple and just focus on one good quality so I changed the shield to just say hero and um, yeah I think it's all it, I'm really pleased with how it's come out I think if I was going to do it again I would maybe think about a better title for my character maybe spend a bit longer on that so maybe you could spend a bit longer on yours um, but remember you can use any materials you like it doesn't have to be expensive art materials you can use biros um, and just pencil so um, just enjoy doing it and then hopefully the person that you give it to will really love their handmade and thoughtful card that you've made for them all right well enjoy doing that and see you next week <laughs>